Hi folks, Welcome to America 2.0. This is coming from uh, AOL News, uh, the AP. Down here, that's who runs AOL News. Now, with the concerning of CERN and the Large Hadron Collider, um, if you know the background stories, it's almost weird that same time. <laughs> Same time, the Large Hadron Collider started up in CERN. The sun storms and the solar storms started up again too. Sorry, folks. Something weird always happens when I get on this. I swear. It's coming from uh, Seth Bornstein, March 17. Uh, I can just play part of the video. A rare G4 severe geomagnetic storm is underway. It has the potential to disrupt radio transmission signals, cause problems with the electrical grid, and have a range of other possibly costly impacts. The event, which is just one notch below the highest category of solar storm, began at about 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday, according to the NOAAS's Space Weather Prediction Center. The geomagnetic storm is the result of a pair of coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, that left the sun on March 15th and are now interacting with Earth's atmosphere and geomagnetic field. All right, folks, remember what happened. Okay, CERN was online, we saw a bunch of these. CERN was online, we saw a bunch of these. And by the time that it stopped, we stopped seeing uh, sunspots, sun anomalies, sunstorm. Maybe not the same, maybe not the same intensity, but we've seen them in the past and everything, obviously. But now that it started up, he says you see all these rare occurrences. Notice what they just said: the power grids, folks. Everything with these liberals is the attack on the power grids. First, it was going to be you know, a natural disaster. Then it was going to be some militia group going off the wire. Next, it was going to be terrorists. Then it was going to be, you know, ISIS. And then it was going to be, like, uh, a lone wolf attack. And then I think they brought back natural disasters. Now they're talking about the damn sun. Bringing down the power grid, folks. They won't leave this topic off the, the books for anything. And you can look into this, folks. I've done probably four videos on how they believe the sun or the uh, power grid is going to be brought down by one thing, by another, by another, by another, by another. It's like they're just telling us, look, this is what we're going to do eventually. We're going to bring it down and we're going to keep it down just so everything goes. Period. End of story. But according to this, a rare G4 severe geomagnetic storm is underway and its potential to disrupt radio transmission signals, cause problems in the electrical grid, and have a range of possible costly impacts. This is coming from Washington AP, the Associated Press. A severe solar storm smacked Earth with surprisingly big geomagnetic Geomagnetic jolt Tuesday, uh, potentially affecting power grids and GPS tracking, pushing colorful northern lights farther south, federal forecasters said. The storm ranks at a four, called severe from uh, NOAA. The scale, ladies and gentlemen, is only to five. And... Five would just be catastrophic. I, I imagine five would be Armageddon. It's the strongest solar storm blast Earth has had since 2013. 2013, ladies and gentlemen. That's when CERN was active last. In other words, that's pretty much a link that this is what's causing it. You have a device with super magnets putting out ten times the power of the sun. 
Now pulling solar flares and solar storms and making solar storms coming toward Earth more. Uh, forecasters figured it would come to late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning instead. It arrived before 10 a.m. And they forecasted it to be a level one. So it left at a level four. And it came at a level one and hit the earth at a level one, supposedly. At least that's what I'm getting out of this. It's significantly stronger than expected. And had been predicted by a glancing blow instead of a dead-on hit. Another theory is that the combination of the two storms made it worse, but it's too early to tell. Uh, the storm seems so weakly, weakenly, slightly. I'm sorry. The storm seemed to be weakenly slightly, but that may not be. That may not continue, and it could last all day. Officials say it's been potential to disrupt power grids, but only temporarily. Often these types of storms come with bursts of radiation that can affect satellite operations, but this one has not. Uh, forecasters said Tuesday before sunrise, auroras were already seen in the northern tire of the U.S., such as Washington State, North Dakota, and South Dakota, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. And the space weather branch of the chief, or space weather branch chief Gordon said, if the storm effects continue through Tuesday evening there could be very strong possibility that the northern lights could be seen as far south as the middle of the United States, Tennessee, and Oklahoma. So there you have it, folks. They're messing with this stuff. And it's bringing our northern lights and our geomagnetics all the way to the middle of the planet, folks. How bad could this possibly get? Or how bad is this machine, do you think? CERN is a bad thing. It's bringing bad things. And they're supposed to be the highest active in May. Do I know what I think? I think in May the power grid's going to go down. <laughs> 